we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're gonna get di yuan digital wallets, they're gonna receive digital yuan, they're gonna use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're gonna take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Digital currency is an amazing example of programmable money, but programmable money that is fitting into what businesses and even people need to do to run their business, to, to go about their, their lives. So at R3, we're working with central banks, working with market participants to solve some of the current challenges within digital currency to make them more open, keep that programmability, but also make them safe to use, and safe to use not just within their economies, but even cross-border. R3 has been working with uh, central banks since 2016. And we understand that when you're trying to do something as promising but as large as introducing digital currency, especially central bank digital currency, you need to think through what levels of trust you need to have, not only in the technology, but in the networks that you're setting up and the ecosystems that you're launching. So it really comes back to where R3 has been from day one, which is really focusing on the technology, focusing on these regulated markets, but trying to figure out how to bring these networks together in a way that advance things but are sustainable long-term. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. What's wrong? To those who purchased the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because, guys, we are getting close to that main event. And then also, much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Cryptos and stocks have taken a hit. And we all know who to blame. That's right, guys, the Fed. They are letting some of this air out the bubble. But guys, they haven't even started yet. Now, the R3 video is a powerful video, guys. And of course, I'm going to touch on that last. But we have Bill Miller puts 50% of his net worth in Bitcoin. Do we listen to the billionaires? No, we do not. We follow the money. And we had Bitcoin drop below 40000 and bouncing back a little over 41000 Guys, we definitely see the yields rising. Remember I told you to pay attention to the actual indicators. We know the Fed wants to let a little of this air out the bubble. And we know they like to price in the downturn. Now, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. You have volume, you have tether, you have USDC. Plus, guys, of course, we have the Fed manipulating yields. As we can see, the yields are rising. They want these rates to rise. And then plus, we'll start getting interest rates later this year. So, guys, we know that's going to pull down the market. We know for a fact. I don't care how much money they have on the sidelines. We know they're going to pull back. 
but we know the agenda is for the fourth industrial revolution. And none of these analysts are going to tell you that. This is part of the plan. Because if you know the plan, you'll know what to invest in. They don't want that. And guys, do not forget to pay attention to Grayscale. We know that Grayscale Whale has been selling. We do not have back until the 20th. So I do see Grayscale start to buy again. But we're definitely going to watch. Going into a bear market, these indicators are so important in cryptos. And then plus on my stock channel, you know I went over indicators every single video. So therefore, we can see while the market moves. We know certain cryptos are going to move no matter what off of news. And the same thing goes for stocks. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Central Bank of Byran finishes the trials of JP Morgan blockchain and token. And guys, we know they started back of May of last year. And remember the videos I put out when I first started this channel. And I also told you these were mandatory videos. The Federal Reserve 2.0 being built on blockchain and tokenized. We know the dollar is not going anywhere. It's just going to be tokenized. And that's why that R3 video is so important. Now we have German Neobank N26 to launch crypto trading later this year. And then also we have Disney patents technology for a theme park metaverse. And guys, we know where the sheep are going inside of the metaverse and guys we know social credit is coming very few people are even going to be allowed to travel we already see the blueprint in china now we have binance.us is building an office in the solana metaverse and guys what are we seeing they're building a real life virtual world inside of the metaverse the same way we're living today they're putting it in the metaverse because they know that the masses are not going to be able to move, travel the same way they've been doing. But they must still keep them happy. And we know the New World Order works off problem, reaction, solution. And guys, when you look at that R3 video, what is the solution? That's right, that programmable money from the central banks. They're going to airdrop the masses, the sheep free money. They're going to accept it. And they're going to sit inside the home and go inside that metaverse. And eventually, we know those brains are going to get downloaded. We see all these 10-year challenges, all types of challenges. So therefore, they can build up this profile data. We know Elon Musk's Neuralink. They'll be able to read the minds of the masses and then also control them. And what did David from R3 say? If you want to boost the economy, and we know eventually they're going to have to, add drop them that free money, and they have three to six months to spend it or poof, it's gone. No more savings, guys. And they'll be able to tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy it. And we know this food out here is not even food anymore. Because we know. When it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, It's Time to Reeducate. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and I forget, book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. Crypto Teacher Stocks, you have your call ball, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, where everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the C-word, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and y'all have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see the fourth industrial revolution, 
foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Drama Team. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.